morning, good morning, good timers. Welcome to uh, day three, the last day of our little uh, weekend getaway here in down east Maine. It is time to uh, head off to the whale watch, but first we're going to have a little bit of breakfast. They do a continental breakfast here at the inn uh, from like 7 to 10, I think it is. So we're going to go check that out. Haven't uh, tried that yet. Yesterday was the buffet, which was great. So we'll go see what they offer for their uh, continental breakfast. After that, we're going to head out to uh, Bar Harbor and to our whale watch. <music> Alright guys, made our way to Bar Harbor. Someone's talking to me about needing an ID for something. I don't know what. I don't know why I would need an ID, but she's gonna go get my ID. So, anyway, we are here in Bar Harbor. Here for the Whale Watch. There actually are a few parking spots available. Thank God it's Monday. Every single parking spot in town, by the way, now is pay. And that includes about two or three miles away from downtown. So. Definitely expect to pay money uh, when you come to Bar Harbor, starting with uh, parking. But we are off to the Whale Watch. We'll show you the big boat here in just a minute. Guys, we got one big ass boat right there, one smaller boat right there. Bet you can't guess which one we're taking. The small one, of course. I don't think we've ever taken the big one, but yeah, size doesn't matter. We here at the Bar Harbor Whale Watch, we are a Whale Sense certified company. So what that means is we follow a certain set of voluntary guidelines alongside a bunch of other whale watches here in the Northeast, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, as well as the Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary. These guidelines are designed for the safety of the whales and ourselves as well. We're going into these animals' home today. This is their backyard. We don't want to harass them. We don't want them to think that we're chasing them down. So we're always going to make sure that we're doing our best to have them feel like they're not being harassed by us. Now, a part of that whale sense is that we also partner with a research organization. We partner with Allied Whale. Allied Whale, they come to us from the College of the Atlantic here in town, and they've been doing research on these whales for the past 50 years. They are the ones who help curate the North Atlantic Humpback Whale Catalog, and they've got all kinds of research that they conduct out here, and I'll talk about that research throughout today. But what that means is we have a researcher join us every single whale watch. Today's researcher is Courtney. So Courtney will be up here with me while we're on the whales and helping take photos and behavioral data and all that kind of stuff so that we can talk about that research and she can use that research in further projects. So without you guys wanting to come out with us today, without you guys supporting the Whale Watch, we couldn't support Allied Whale. So thank you for helping to provide that platform for this very necessary research.
guys, fresh off the boat here in Bar Harbor. Literally, just fresh off the boat. Yes. And uh, yeah, we had a great time. Ended up uh, being quite the whale watch. We have uh, pretty good luck with those. So we saw uh, one whale that uh, basically just followed our boat around and uh, did lots of uh, activities and uh, lots acrobats. of acrobatics. Yes, exactly. So that was a blast. So started off a little bit slow, just saw lots of birds to start. And then uh, we did see a lot of whales, but they were unfortunately on the opposite side of the boat than where we were sitting. So. And then we saw that one whale and he just kept on uh, kept on showing up and kept on doing tricks and things. So that was very, very cool. So awesome whale watch, Bar Harbor whale watch. We've always had good luck with them. So if you uh, want to take a whale watch, this is a great one to take. So I think we're going to head off now to uh, to dinner. We're actually, uh, the other thing is the, the uh, tour lasted about an extra hour than it should have. So uh, yes, we ended up, sometimes. it does happen, especially yeah. if they're have, having good luck with uh, seeing whales. So nothing wrong with that. Yeah, uh, you know, don't mind being a little bit late if it was for a uh, good reason. So definitely uh, was a good time. So yeah, we are off to uh, dinner now. I think we're going to try to hit up one of our favorite spots, Atlantic Brewing Company and Mainly Meats Barbecue. That's uh, about 15 minutes outside of Bar Harbor here. So head in that direction and uh, we'll take you along. barbecue at the Atlantic Brewing Company. I, uh, we had the sampler platter, as you can see. I think my favorite on there was the sausage. It was a little spicy, but uh, not overpowering, just the right amount of heat to give it some flavor. Andy and loves his sausage. I do love the sausage, that's right. And uh, what was your favorite? I don't know. Yeah, it was right, all perfect. good. Simone loved everything. So there we it go. It was all delicious. Either I way, have to say great, maybe the pulled pork. Great meal at uh, Mainly Meat Barbecue. Pulled pork. Yeah, the pulled pork. That's always Simone's yeah, favorite. So like not a surprise there. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Guys, so while we're here at uh, Atlantic Brewing Company, mm -hmm. figured we might as well just do our wrap up of the past three days. Um, first of all, if you are just watching this, we did have two days prior to this. So you should go back and watch those two days. Otherwise, you gotta have no idea what we're actually talking about. Yeah. So. Hopefully you've watched the last two days already. If you haven't, go back and watch those and then you'll know what we're talking about. So, we've had a great vacation, or a great mini vacation. Mini. A three day getaway. Celebration. For Celebration of being cancer free. Cancer Absolutely. Free. Ringing the bell. Ringing the bell, yes. And go back and watch that vlog too. And yeah, so now we have to remember what we've done for the past three day days. Day one. Day one. Use your day brain. one was the Pitbull concert. Pitbull. We but first, the before the Pitbull concert, yes, we went to the casino and we actually had a couple of decent wins. I had a $104 win. I think Simone had a hundred and... Something like that. Something. hundred and something. Yeah. We didn't lose. We nope. weren't losers. We, we, we were, walked out we of the casino winners. and the same amount we walked into the casino with. And that mm -hmm. is the goal. The goal really is actually to even do better than that and actually, you know, go home with extra wow. money. But that breaking even, good. just as good. Yes. Or almost just as good. So after that, we went to the Pitbull concert and honestly, I don't... I'm not a huge rap fan, but T-Pain was actually pretty decent. I recognized one song, which is actually my theme song. All I do is win, 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 win no right. matter what, what, what. So that was cool. And then we saw Pitbull, who I actually do like Pitbull, so that was good. Recognized most of his songs. Wasn't singing them in Spanish or anything like some of the people were, but very cool. Awesome concert. Probably mm -hmm. one of the uh, more exciting ones I've been to. You know, it was no ballads or anything, which I do mm. prefer, but, you know. But it was rocking. Finally got me hearing back the next morning, so that was good. Stayed at the Lucerne Inn. Yes. That we've never stayed at Yes, we have before. never stayed that at the Lucerne Inn, nice. and we did, so that was fun. And mm -hmm. I would uh, certainly suggest the Lucerne Inn. I didn't have any issues with it. No. A little dated, but you know what? It's been around since like the 1800s, I think. Yeah. 
and so it should be a little dated. Um, the food is really good. We had three different meals there at Lucerne. We tried everything. We had lunch, we had breakfast, and we had dinner. Every single one of those were excellent. So yeah, I would certainly go to Lucerne Inn, even if you don't stay, just go for a meal because it is worth it. The food is excellent. So we enjoyed our stay there very much. Yes. And what else did we do day on two. day two? Do we even no, we went on, we're on, train on day two ride. yet? Now we're on day two. Oh, are yes. we on day two? We okay. are now. We day went two. on train ride on day two. Yes. And we have actually done that oh, before as well. Uh, last time we did it was during COVID though, so we had a couple of there were a couple of different things this time. We actually had some uh, little beverages and snacks were available, so that was good. There's certainly a lot more people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, takes you down to Ellsworth through the woods over the rivers. Is it so, the, it's Downey Scenic. Downey Scenic Downey Railroad. Scenic yes. Railroad. All volunteer, Classic. which is cool. So all the ticket prices go to upkeeping the railroad and to uh, doing maintenance and things like that. So. It's a good cause. Yes. A little bit of history of the area, a little bit of history of the railroad, and a nice relaxing way to spend a couple hours. Um, certainly when it's a beautiful day, and it was a beautiful weekend all weekend. We had the literally perfect the perfect weather. weather. It is uh, just turning fall here in Maine, so the days are nice and crisp, a little cool, not too cool. So awesome, awesome weather all weekend long. Did we do anything else on day two that was exciting? We ate. We ate food. We, got, we we did the uh, we did the brunch. At yes, the, the brunch. Inn, the big brunch. Once again, brunch of the Lucerne Inn. Excellent yeah. food. Very good brunch. Very to uh, do. A little pricey. I won't. Oh. I won't, can't lie. The brunch was a little pricey, but it was worth the price. But you get a discount. And you do staying. get a ten percent discount 10%. if you are a guest of the Lucerne Inn. So that's another bonus. Um, every feel, meal you can get a discount on if you are actually staying there. I feel like we we put our best effort in. I feel like we got we our had money's a, worth. We had a lot. We ate a lot of a food. lot of food. Yeah. We ate a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I had to poop. Not because anything to do with the food, just because I had too much of the it. The quantity. <laughs> yeah, and I did. I did. I, I succeeded in everything. That's, yeah, let's let's not talk about yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Day three, the whale watch. You guys uh, have obviously seen the whale watch because that's what this third vlog is, is the whale watch. So as you saw, we saw a lot of cool whale action. Quite a variety. We, we saw did. There actually was a whale that three, breached four? that um, this idiot here was looking in the wrong direction and we did not capture it on film whatsoever. So yeah, the whale completely came out of the water right beside the boat and I wasn't paying any attention. So that will not be shown on the video. It was on the other side I, of the boat. I, I do give you that. I we, will try to find a still shot of it because there are a lot of people taking pictures. See if we can put a still shot in it at the end of the vlog. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I can find that for you. But um, I did get lots of whale footage of almost breaches. Like, you know, 75% breaches. They call them perduncles? Perdun perduncles. Yes, perduncles. they call them perduncles, which is really they a cool like word. wave their tail I, where I've, they're like... I've never heard of per perduncle before, perduncle. but that's what it is. So when they yep. come out of the water with their, tail, their like, entire tail and they slap their tail on the water, that yep. is a perduncle. So lots of perduncling going on on this whale watch. It actually lasted about an hour longer than it was supposed to, but they don't charge you anything extra, so you literally get a free hour. Can't yeah. can't complain about that at all. Unfortunately, we were supposed to get snowed tonight on our way home, but. Because of the extra hour, we're not going to get to doggy daycare in time. So he's going to have to spend an extra night at doggy daycare. He'll get over it and be perfectly fine, just like he always is. So unfortunately, we'll be sad. Yes. But other than that, we wrapped up at Atlantic Brewing Company, mainly meats barbecue over here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And once again, as always, a very good meal here at uh, mainly meats barbecue. So I think that's it. Is that it? If I not, think that's it. if not, you guys will know because you were supposed to have watched all the vlogs already. So if we, we miss something, you will already know about it. Oh yeah, shopping. we did some shopping in Ellsworth. That whatever. Kind of stuff. Yeah. Ellsworth is Ellsworth yeah. is fine. Yeah. It's it's a nice little town. Yeah, shopping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, that does it, guys. It was a great three day weekend. It's our first three day weekend in a long time, so very enjoyable. Great mm -hmm. to be able to celebrate uh, being cancer free, and yep. uh, yeah, we'll do something exciting here again real soon. So until next time. Have a good time. Have a good time, guys. Thank you. Let's have a drink. Just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard. Dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile. Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I 
will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow